I know I'm late as hell. I gotta check out this file. Sukuna is built different. Let's get into it. I've waited 15 episodes, four months for this day. Not gonna Damn. lie. Toji's peak felon behavior at the start of the season was a surprise and it held me down mm -hmm. for a little but it's finally time for the big bro to make his way through so this for episode sure. begins with Toji staring down Megumi and this nigga Toji just squared up even Megumi knew that shit wasn't fair so Megumi went from <laughs> being ready to box to being ready to skedaddle he was not taking that risk even when he was covered by a smoke screen of rabbits Toji damn near took his head off so Megumi Facts. ran into a building but Toji's out here moving like Batman Megumi threw the dukes <laughs> up and was like hi then nigga come on let's box but he didn't know that toji goes out his way just to be disrespectful he blocked all of that with one arm and one arm the rabbit saw that and was like oh nah i gotta slide for my mans but toji <laughs> grabbed it by his ears and his other rabbit must have just played spider-man yo what the f i did not notice that when the hell did the rabbit grab on what did it grab onto bro just played spider-man 2 and proceeded to molly -wop every rabbit megan came for the sweep kick but toji said easy reads blocked both <laughs> hits grabbed the other hand and almost gave a nigga a concussion Damn. but this is the first time i ever seen a rabbit have hands even though that it didn't do a yeah. single thing the rabbits had enough <laughs> of their set getting disrespected and you don't gotta be a human to participate in jjk jumpings but too bad for them they weren't <laughs> familiar with his game he threw his weapon in the air stomped on the ground and he must be Barry yo, Allen. Everything. yo bro he did this it's totally like flicking each little object at the at the rabbits i'm sitting there like what how i'm like bro this nigga is crazy i hope he comes back to life i really hope he comes back to life this nigga is built different he threw his weapon in the air stomped on the ground and he must be Barry Allen. everything was in slow motion all he had to do was Point. All the rabbits got put into a pack, and then he caught his weapon just to finish the clip. So Megami is back on her run, and I want to see bad now. Toji kicked him hard as shit into that truck. Ugh. He bounced back into his two piece, and Toji was trying to get a guaranteed kill with forcefully sending truck coon at bro. And that's when Toji <laughs> looked at the ground and remembered he was a fan of Captain America. Not only was he chucking sewer caps at Megami, <laughs> this nigga picked up truck coon and threw that too. And mid jump, Toji nearly hit him with high. a two to the head. And then we see these two right here talking, and the principal was like, "Didn't you?" quit smoking but she said it's only because she recalled something back in the school days yeah that's because she's feeling the presence of the nigga who smoked on gojo and ghetto are you serious the same day. oh i didn't even catch that hey yo you a smart little nigga i did not catch that i was like what is she talking about her ass got ptsd who smoked on gojo and ghetto's pack in the same day so toji walked in the room but all of a sudden the sprinklers went off and look at his face He's like, damn, this nigga is sorry. That's when the bird came <laughs> through and electrified the place. But Toji gave it a side eye of death. That face pretty much says, don't let me catch your ass outside, nigga. Toji came from oh. the top ropes, but Megami said, we? at this point, Megami mm -hmm. had a game plan and all he had to do was execute. But Toji said, speed blitz. Megami is so lucky he the smart one in the group or he would have been bodied. The no rabbits cap. under his foot turning the water, pretty much messing up his whole flow. Megami then grabbed him, was about to send him back to the lobby. And Toji just looked at him with nothing but disappointment. He just staring at him like, damn, bro. I thought my C would have had better hands than this. I don't think that's the way he looked at us. He, he he might be capping on that one, bro. I don't think he looked at him with disappointment. I think he just realized that was his son. And then didn't he ask what's his name? And he offed himself. Is that actual Toji or Toji's body? Like, how how does that work? Like, who is this nigga for real? Damn, bro. I thought my C would have had better hands than this. He dashed back, and this is when he started to remember. We saw a flashback of Toji talking to O'Head about selling his son for 10 that better not be 10 bands if you gonna sell me at least get a duffel and this next part right a big here millie. damn near made me shed a tear low key there's only three niggas in the show who are guaranteed to stand on business and that's gojo mm -hmm. sukuna and mm -hmm. of course toji and i had to witness one of the big three leaving the server all because he didn't <laughs> want to pay child support and i really wanted to see toji pull up on sukuna or at least wanted to see gojo get ptsd from seeing him but you know what really pissed me off while me. megami was walking away my boy ended up getting he stabbed and i was like hey yo what's going on and he turns stabbed around and it's the same dude from earlier like bro do we gotta get anatomy on you again so then now we see no pan and this dude walking around and bro was getting annoyed that panel was constantly wait, wait 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 that's the dude he had literally just got packed up by anatomy bro went home i thought he was begging for his life now he over here slashing people in the back man see pan and this dude walking around and bro was getting annoyed that panel was constantly bringing up gojo he made the point that there's probably so many people scared hiding right now and they should to focus on getting them and i was like hold up he bro was, was spitting but right after we found out bro was just rap capping it was mm -hmm. all an excuse because he knew exactly where gojo was but he just didn't want to get bodied and after hearing <laughs> that i was like bro it's facts it's facts it's about 
What I, I mean, like it how is I box niggas like Mahito and Kenjaku. I'm only here because I don't want to work a nine to five just for a nigga like Joe to pull up and eviscerate everyone in an establishment all over a slight inconvenience. <laughs> but almost instantly after, they got confronted by these two people right here. That and they pretty much everybody. said they don't want to box nobody, but if you fuck around, they will fry your shit. Homeboy right here was like, y'all niggas don't got main villain drip, so this is going to be free eats. <laughs> Both parties were getting ready to squabble, but all of a sudden the power went out, something randomly combusted, and all you heard was someone laughing <laughs> and now we finally gonna see the true yes dog in sir they had this in movie style and everything i had knew me, it was had me some heat for this fight so off rip they treat us like a dbc battle hold on before it even starts mappa went dummy on this fucking episode oh my gosh this episode had me in my sheets boy i was up there cuddled up watching this shit like yo this is this is cinematic greatness <laughs> everything i knew they was cooking some heat for this fight so off rip they treat us like a dbc battle boxing in the sky joko tried to fireball jutsu but sukuna said miss me with that weak shit turn his arms to calamari and grabbed He's a so random boat from his bro. inventory and tossed it at his dome piece joko was like i bet and turned his arm into an lmg and that's when sukuna walked into the <laughs> building and you know his library when he still got his hands in his pocket so yep. sukuna was running out and joko thought he had a big brain moment when he tried to window camp but all that just to get outplayed and turn into calamari again that's when he turned his head and shot a special beam cannon. But Sukuna simply said no. Bro wasn't even in the frame anymore. He came back around and hit that <laughs> nigga with a Broly command grab. And he purposely made sure he ping pong on every street sign in the area. Jogo got <laughs> sent through every building possible and got up like, we're just getting started. Sukuna came through like, man, shut your dumb ass up. But now he was pissed. Bro is now kissing the ground and couldn't let that go unchecked. He flew back up with an ocean of lava and bro was out here surfing on it too. The lava was mm -hmm. coming towards Sukuna, but he simply stood there and told it nah i'm good try to shoot him but he didn't know he was weave nation certified jogo is trying his hardest so while sukuna still crazy, got one bro. hand in his pocket and the other hand is only out because it got a little sweaty and now jogo is pulling out moves i didn't even know was conceivable made yeah. two i was wondering the whole time i said why did he try this against gojo but i guess gojo was just fucking that nigga up too bad bro gojo beat up jogo so bad that i thought jogo was trash but this fight proved to me that he wasn't trash he wasn't i was like oh damn two giant hands and smashed building straight into sukuna but that boy cut straight through and said he's a real honored one and then he oh, just Jesus. vanished had that boy searching oh nah this nigga is dead he smashed him <laughs> through a building and this nigga was dribbling juggle like a basketball but his combo was still active came from the top ropes on his face and dragged him down the he entire him doing building, building on that, uh, the city green goblin tip this would have been another episode of invincible then sukuna was like oh the moon is so bright tonight makes it easier to see how sore you are then picks <laughs> him up that. had this grown man's feet dangling and was like come on Try a little harder, little bro. This right here is when Jogo truly had enough of this disrespect. That entire building blew up, and this nigga Jogo must have a renegon because bro was using planetary devastation. My fault, bro. <laughs> I didn't know you had this in your duffel. Panda and bro was like, oh nah, this is above our pay grade. I'm trying to dip. Sukuna pulled up just to fuck with him. Told everyone they cannot move just until to mess he with says them. so. And look at Panda. <laughs> Me and him will have the same face. Like, Me no way. Too. This nigga cannot be serious. <laughs> But no one dared test that nigga's gangster because they knew that was a free ticket to the afterlife. And the moment he clapped his hands, they left with efficiency. I honestly got no clue how they could have survived that explosion. Exactly. Like when it was, it was like really close. He was like, hold on. Or did he say, wait? He said something. It was getting closer and closer. Boy, when he clapped them hands, them niggas clapped them cheeks and left. Boy, what? They left with efficiency. I honestly got no clue how they could have survived that explosion. But to Sukuna, that was no more than a child's game. Bro was really posted up, sitting on the meteor like that wasn't Jogo's ultimate, like that wasn't his level <laughs> three. He used the rest of his meter for that attack just for it to do nothing. So Sukuna was like, hey bro, why don't you use your domain? You only need one hit. But Jogo said, hell no, nah, bro. I know I can't hang with you in a domain fight. Then I kid you not. Sukuna laughed in his face and called him a bitch. Sukuna then got up and was like, all right then, bro. I'ma just whip your ass with your own specialty. They both up mm -hmm. their blicks and we Look don't know that. who's gonna be about here. But mm. Jogo started thinking about his dead homies and pretty much was accepting the fact that he was gonna get cooked. But then this nigga Sukuna evaded his mind and not gonna lie, I didn't expect it from him. I thought he was gonna evade and start talking crazy, but he just went in there and called him strong. Then Jogo started crying and he was like, hold on, what is this? Sukuna was like, I don't know, bro, but it kinda looks bitch made. Then we go back to the real world and Jogo was cooked frame one. 
we were only in his memories because he was dead the moment they squared up. Then his yeah. random girl pulled up, and I'm surprised Sukuna had any type of relationships in her life with the way he be acting. But he looked happy to see her. 